it's Ruby. Okay, so, um, Tauberman actually posted a very, very cool video, uh, that he, uh, did in response to a comment that I had made on, uh, somebody's video regarding the Nuclear Night TJ debate about pornography and the porn industry and how it is objectifying and the career track is fucked up, um, and, I mean, I actually did get a chance to finally go back and watch Nuclear Knight's video. I didn't watch anybody else's commentary on it, uh, specifically because I wanted to get right to the source and I didn't want to kind of contaminate myself with everybody else's opinions. Um, it's a very short video, but basically what it is, is that, uh, you know, she's making, like, here's what I come down to, you know, this is, this is my conclusion, uh, just for myself is that she's making a lot of assumptions here um, and and a lot of generalizations at the same time uh, you know she's you know generalizing and assuming that people that are in sex work and do sex work as a career are fucked up and that they have to be fucked up in order to get into that career track um, and that the you know, the industry in and of itself is unhealthy and fucked up. I, I would say that disagreeing wholeheartedly is a very mild way to respond to that as far as myself is concerned. Um, I think that, I mean, I, you know, for those of you guys that don't know, I actually did once for a very brief period, I did work as a sex worker. Technically, I was a, a phone sex operator. So, uh, I've definitely have had experience in that universe and, you know, in that industry. And, you know, I've actually had a couple different jobs in that kind of industry before. Um, not just as a phone sex operator, but as a, a sex texter, which, interesting. But, you know, I think the thing is, is that, you know, I agree with Tomer. I think the thing is, is that she's making a value judgment on these people that get in this, into this career, you know, into this industry, um, just automatically assuming that these are damaged, fucked up people. Well, what if they're not? You know, I mean, it's like I actually do follow a couple of porn stars on my Twitter and I think that they're some very extremely interesting people and they lead very interesting lives and... I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. And I mean, I'm not, and again, this, and this is purely just speaking in general. This has nothing to do with morals at all. Just strictly from a perspective of what they do for a living. They live a fascinating life. And, you know, just because it's different doesn't mean it's fucked up. That, I think, is the point, is, you know, just because it's different from what you would be comfortable with as a person doesn't mean it's wrong or that it's, you know, objectionable. It might be objectionable to you, yeah, but for other people that have had different life experiences, it's not going to be as objectionable. It might not be objectionable at all to the point where they are, in fact, comfortable with doing that kind of stuff for a living. I just find it really troublesome that she would phrase it in such a way and make it about moralistic judgments. Um, because it, I don't think it has anything to do with that, you know, uh, making it about moralistic judgments and trying to couch it in terms of dysfunction. Uh, it's kind of like that old chestnut of, you know, gays and lesbians becoming gay and lesbians because they were molested as children. I can understand the inclination to think that about porn stars, but, you know, like Tomer said, although not quite as uh, eloquently as I would have said it, they're, this is what they're good at. This is what they enjoy. And I mean, seriously, who the fuck are you to say that that's fucked up? You have no business telling anybody what they do for a living or what they enjoy doing is fucked up. Unless it's hurting you or hurting somebody you know, it's not for you to say. It's not your call to make. That is their life. That is their choice. And let them live it. Let them have that choice. And that's the problem, is that so many people have this old, antiquated view of what the porn industry is. You know, they're thinking like Uncle Billy's basement downstairs in his rec room that's, you know, his basement that's gotten turned into a rec room and they're, you know, shooting porn on the shag rug and the naugahyde couch with the ping pong table covered up by a velvet blanket so that it doesn't show in the background. That kind of shit. I mean, I'm sorry, but everything, you know, this is 2010. Things have progressed 
a great, great deal since then. There are women running their own porn studios and doing beautiful work. I mean, really, really beautiful, wonderful work. And I'm going to share some of it with you. Not on screen, obviously, because it would get me in trouble. But I'll share their, their names with you and give you their websites. Because I have absolutely no problem admitting and just saying flat out that I am a connoisseur of porn. Uh, lesbian porn, obviously. Um, but, I mean, that's the thing, is that I think Nuclear Knight's point of view just represents this really old hat, you know, let's save them kind of bullshit. It's like, who are you to decide if they need to be saved or not? That's up to them. That's the whole point of feminism, is to allow a woman to make a choice for herself. Just because you don't agree with that choice as another woman does not mean that that, that woman's choice is invalid. You might think it's stupid, you might think it's offensive, you might think it's vulgar, you might think it's objectionable, you might think it's perverse, but it's not your call to label an entire industry of people as dysfunctional and fucked up and unhealthy. That is not your call to make. End of story. You might have an opinion about it, yeah, sure, you can have that opinion if you want, but just be aware that there is every chance that you might be wrong. Because there are a lot of people that get into that industry because they know that they can make money. They know that they're good at it. They know that they enjoy it. So they figure, why not, you know, have the best of both worlds and get paid for doing what they love? Wouldn't all of us love to do that? I mean, that's everybody's dream to get paid doing what they love. It just so happens that what they love to do is have sex. What What's wrong with that? I just don't... <laughs> I, I might sound like a total bohemian freak here, but seriously, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with them utilizing their body in a way that makes them happy and makes all sorts of other people happy, too, when they watch it, you know? Or even take part in it, you know? It just... <laughs> Same thing with prostitution, you know, it's the exact same thing. You have no right to make a judgment about these people and who they are based on what they do. You wouldn't do that to somebody that squeegees windows on a really tall building. You wouldn't do that to somebody who is a postman. You wouldn't do that to somebody who, you know, works in a, a soup kitchen. You wouldn't do that to somebody that works at a Denny's. So why would you do that to somebody that works in the sex industry? You know, it's like, yeah, okay, yeah, I understand it has to do with sex, blah, 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 whatever. And not everybody looks at sex as this perfect, untouchable pedestal of human perfection and intensity and, and intimacy. You know, for a lot of people, it's just a good time. I hate to break it to you. A lot of people do think that way. I'm not necessarily one of them, but I understand that the people that do, you know, I can understand that viewpoint. But that's the issue, is that you can't judge somebody by what they do for work. I mean, you know, you especially can't make assumptions about their character based on what they do. I mean, yeah, I'm not going to say that there aren't people, you know, in the industry that haven't gotten into bad shit and done bad things. But, you know, how many post office workers have gone ape shit? You know, for there are always going to be a few people that fuck up always there but but that's on them that's not it that's nothing to do with the industry that's everything to do with them as an individual it has nothing to do with the industry the industry does not create drug addicts okay i am absolutely and all for safe sex happy sex sexy sex consensual sex uh sex for sale if you want to you know, just just don't judge these people. It's not your place, and it's not your call. That's just what I think. Thanks for listening. Bye.